Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. Right now, we're at the beginning of one of the most amazing periods of time in history. If you are willing to do the following things, you can achieve unimaginable wealth in your lifetime. And what am I talking about? On my other channel, The Economy Today, I have a video talking about how the post office is struggling. The post office doesn't pay minimum wage. The post office has health, dental, PTO, yet this institution struggles to hire people and they're not the only ones. The post office, and let's just go ahead and say this because there's some people who disagree with my numbers, but the average postal worker salary is about $62,000 a year, twice what the average American makes working a regular job. But even with that, the post office struggles. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying something here. I want you guys to listen to me. So if $62,000 or $65,000 or in the comments, I've had some postal workers say they made six figures. If that is not enough to induce people to go put in an application and start working at the post office. This is the beginning of a cultural shift. Now, what I mean by that right now, unemployment is at 3.4%, the lowest level of unemployment since 1969. So if you want to work, there's work available for you in many, many sectors, post office, restaurants, many, many small companies are struggling to hire people. Now, this is where if you can do these things, you can become imaginably rich. First of all, we got to understand what's going on. The, the big culprit is social media. Everyone wants to be a social media star. I was unaware the number of D1 athletes who had an Instagram, a Twitter, or uh, some cases a YouTube channel with NIL. These athletes can now have a YouTube channel and make money. So with social media, it's social media and tech are kind of very much alike. And what do I mean by that? I was watching a podcast where a guy was like doing tech and he worked one hour a day making 200k a year so with tech social media it is established protocol that you can have a tech career or a social media career and not work 40 hours a week and i'm about to go ahead and testify i have not worked 40 hours in a week since the car rental business just haven't it's not required in tech or social media for you to work 40 hours a week to make a seven figures it's not required it's about leveraging tech leveraging social media and that's one of the things that i've been able to do is to leverage social media and this is one of the reasons i stick with it because you know uh, i recently reset the channels and i had a few people it's like you know you got all this money why are you even dealing with this just walk away and the reason i have all this money is because of social media and a lot of people don't understand because you see your favorite youtuber your favorite instagram personality your favorite facebook real and you see them and you really don't understand how they make money you don't understand that instagram pays creators for instagram reels facebook pays creators for facebook reels youtube pays people for making videos so everybody and their mother wants to be a content creator, a social media superstar, because if you can pull that off, you can make six, you can make seven figures, and you're not working a 40 hour week. It's very, very, it incentivizes people to do things. Now, here's the thing, and this is where your opportunity comes. Your opportunity isn't in social media. This is something I'm gonna give you. Number one, have the ability to keep your job and keep your mental into the job. You know, you're doing your job and you go to work and work your 40 hours and you come home and you have the mental bandwidth 
to do more. Because see, what's happening is for the people who have the ability to stick with a plan, to stick with a program, keep their job, and then start something else and work really, really hard, you're going to separate yourself from the masses. Because literally, I noticed it last year, it's even more pronounced this year, the number of people who are coming to YouTube. Now, why are they coming to YouTube? Why are they coming to Instagram? Why are they coming to TikTok? The number of content creators who have put out videos talking about hey how much youtube paid me for having 20,000 subscribers how much youtube has paid me for a million view video so people are seeing ample evidence that there's money in these digital streets. There's a lot of money in these digital streets. So they're seeing that, and here's the thing. Once you know it's possible, all bets are off. It's possible, I'm gonna give it a shot. Now let me explain to you what you're working with. College football has, well, high school football has a million young men playing high school football across the country every year. And then when they move to the next level, which would be collegiate fo football, that number drops down to 71,000. We go from a million to 71,000. So we go, so that's 7% of the guys who play high school football are now playing college ball. And then when we go to college ball to the pros, that 71,000 gets whittled down to about 300 dudes every year in the NFL draft. And there are some people who literally walk on to pro teams. They don't get drafted, They, you know, and that's even smaller, smaller percentage. Now, the numbers for becoming a social media superstar are worse because literally there are hundreds of millions of social media accounts and I would say there are five million content creators around the world who make a million or more let's say five million make 100,000 to a million or more so that five million compared and contrasted against the hundreds of millions of social media accounts that pretty much tells you your odds to making some serious coin on social media, you got a lot of competition. You've got a ton of competition. Essentially, you know what I'm getting ready to do? Because I see it's coming. I'm getting ready to start running paid traffic on this YouTube channel because number one, I have the position, I have the channel ranking because this, this will be a way for me to give myself a competitive advantage. Yeah, I'm getting ready to start running paid traffic on this YouTube channel to this channel because I already know that the vast majority of content creators don't have any money. So by the, and like, once again, if you had a YouTube channel and you spent $2,000 a month, you would separate yourself from literally hundreds of millions of people. The opportunity, because a lot of these people are checking out. They're, they're not participating. They're not going to college. They're not getting careers. They're getting jobs. And this is one of the reasons that I watch DoorDash content, because if you get out and really hustle with DoorDash, you can make 1500, some markets, 2000 bucks a week, which is pretty, you know, minus gas and maintenance, but this is more money than you could get. But here, here's the thing. It's not the money that that's the big appeal to DoorDash. You don't have a boss. You don't have someone telling you what you have to do. You don't have someone telling you when you could take a break and when you can't take a break. This is the biggest appeal of DoorDash. This is why they're like, literally, if you go look on YouTube, the number of DoorDash creators are numerous and their videos get views because people like the fact that they can pick up their phone, go in that app, get a job, and be able to pay their bills. Now, once again, if you're that person who can keep a job, work your 40, and then do more, and build those two things will separate you from hundreds of millions of people because everyone is trying to be a social media superstar. Everyone is trying to, I saw this video, it's called that soft life where everyone is essentially my cushy life, trying to get where I'm at. And the thing is, what got me here? work a lot of work i had a physical business before youtube and this this is the thing that separates me from the majority of these 
YouTube content, successful business people. I had not one, not two, but three successful businesses before YouTube. Now, why is that important? Because mentally, I know that I can start a multi-million dollar business without YouTube. Many of these social media wonder pups have no such mental frame of reference. They don't know. Essentially, there are people that if you took social media away from them, they would starve because that, that's all they know how to do. They, they're really good at Instagram. They may be really good at YouTube. They may be really good at uh, whatever, but they do not know how to facilitate business. This is a skill that's lost on them. There's a, a content creator named Batty in Business who goes, hi, this is Isabella, founder of two six figure businesses and I've listened to her content and 80% of her, co her, her money doesn't come from businesses. 80% of her money comes from content creation. And if you took her dog away from her and you took her YouTube channel away from her, her income would dramatically drop because that's all she knows how to do. And once again, I mean, she's making legitimate money. She's making six figures, absolutely. But it's through con the business of content creation. And I'm getting ready to say something. The floodgates are open. The number of people running to TikTok, Instagram, YouTube is at an all time high, all time high. Now, YouTube, you still can experience organic growth. You can literally, if you hit the right niche with the right content. However, here's something that many of you do not know who are very new to content creation. Your YouTube channel is not going to remain static. Let's say you have a year where you're doing like a million views a month. Maybe you're making $15,000 a month. That's not gonna stick. What's gonna happen is, because there's gonna be more and more content creators coming to the platform, you're gonna get knocked. You know, you may be killing it, then someone's gonna come into your niche and they're gonna have a little bit more flavor, just a little bit more flavor, and they're gonna knock you out the way. And then what's gonna happen to them is someone's gonna do it to them. So on and so forth. So. What you're going to see is a whole bunch of people trying to jump through this content creation hoop with little regard to the long-term ramifications of being a content creator. This is one of the reasons I sell things. If I did not sell things, I would have never made the money that I made on, on the internet, not even close. And what, what you're going to see, what you're going to realize as we go down this path that the folks, number one, who can keep a job, come home, work on something else, and keep that going, you are going to position yourself to get rich, and then you're going to position yourself to get wealthy within 10 years, because here's the thing, there is no competition. There used to be a lot of competition. I'll give you an example. If you're a man of average looks, and you just have the ability to go up to women and start talking, you would do better than some of the most handsome, naturally handsome some men because I forget the, t the, 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 the term, but my coach used to say this all the time. He says, hard work beats talent seven days a week. And what's going to happen is the people who are willing to put in that work, experience delayed gratification, manage their money correctly, are going to be so far ahead of all these people who are trying to jump through these social media hoops because here's the thing, like, like I said, I reset my channel for a reason. And this month, like I deleted a bunch of videos. I um, put out a, an intention. I put out a different style of video. And at one point I literally had 150, 150 people unsubscribe because that's cool. That's cool because those folks do not want to start businesses. They don't want to build anything. They're looking for entertainment. And since I've stopped being entertaining, this has created a new energy in the channel and it's created a new way of me to conduct myself. And going forward, I'm going to go deeper into that because I'm going to tell you, I can tell you as an experienced YouTuber, 14 years experience, it's about the correct viewer. It's not about the views. Give you an example. If you had a channel that had 10,000 
of the correct viewers, just 10,000, you would make more money than someone who has a channel of a million subscribers of folks who are just kind of here for, because this is what happens. And this is one of the reasons I deleted a lot of videos. There are certain videos that people came in and they were interested in that content and that content only. So they watch whenever I put up a video that brought them here, they will watch. Whenever I put up a video that wasn't like the video that has brought them here, they would not watch. See, that's the thing you gotta understand because you can make seven figures from a very small channel if you know what you're doing and you've got you you've got your situation set up correctly but if you're just out here <sighs> trying to satisfy the because essentially i am no longer trying to appeal to the algorithm because when you set up your channel to appeal to the algorithm you will be consistently chasing trends the algorithm of 2022 is different than the algorithm of 2023 and it's, it's going to keep going it's going to keep going and it's going to keep going so i'm getting ready to do some new training and I'm going to drop it Sunday. I think that's Super Bowl Sunday. I think it's Super Bowl Sunday. I will drop it before the Super Bowl because everyone, you know, will be key tuned into the key on Super Bowl. But after Super Bowl Sunday, if I if I let me change my mind, I may do it after Super Bowl Sunday. I'm going to start doing workshops and training for those who are interested in getting rich in three years and getting wealthy in ten because. I'm making channel, I'm making content for the top, for that 25 to 30% of people who actually wanna do something with their lives. And this is your chance because as more and more people run the social media and they have these dreams of being a social media star or Instagram baddie, this is gonna leave open so much opportunity. So I'm gonna put an email list, uh, a link right below, and if you want this new training, and I'm gonna send out some emails this week, let me know and I will send you uh, the way to get the new training because this is going to be deep, powerful stuff. And since I'm going to be running ads, I'm going to give you ad training that you will not be able to get anywhere else. So it's going to be in the first comment. Just get on that email list and I will see you guys in the next one.